Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you've been there for a while, you already know that this channel is all about how do you know and DIY stuff. So today I'm going to share with you my top 3 robot car projects that I've built over the past few months. It's not very really hard to build if you have some knowledge about how do you know and electronics. And I think this is the perfect project for those who is just getting started into the audio you know world. Before we jump into the video, please give a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the future. So we're gonna come to the first project, this is live following an obstacle avoiding car. This was actually my second ever robot, and it's taught me so much about combining different types of sensors, including infrared and ultrasonic sensor. The original idea is the car will follow a black light on the floor using two infrared sensors, and if there's a wall or an object in the way, it uses an ultrasonic sensor to detect and avoid it. For this project, I will use an Arduino Uno for reading the signal from the sensors and control the robot. An ultrasonic sensor for measuring the distance between the robot and the optical on the way. A server to rotate the ultrasonic sensor. Two IO sensors for light detection. A motor driver for DC motors. And the last one is a 3D printed base that I've designed and printed with my printer. The IO sensor constantly check if they're on the black line. If the line shifts left or right, the car just itself to stay centered. Meanwhile, the ultrasonic sensor mounted on a servo keeps scanning the head for detecting the obstacle. If it sees something too close, let's say it's under 15 cm, the car will stop, rotate the sensor left and right, find the open path that doesn't have obstacle and turn that way. It sounds, it sounds simple, right? I remember when I first finished the code and powered it up. I honestly didn't think this would work as I think, but when I see it follow the line, stop when it saw a wall, and actually make a decision to turn, it actually blows my mind. It was like a little robot had a brain. Sounds a little bit crazy. The second one is super cool project in terms of motion. It's the mechanical wheel robot car. If you've never seen one before, these wheels are special. They let the robot move in any direction, including sideways, diagonally, without turning. So what is the reason that I made it? I want it to be a cooler looking car, like the ones you see in the robot competitions. Normal wheels feel kind of boring. So I switched it to mechanical wheels to level it up. For the parts I use for this project, the same as the previous one, but in this video, we will use a Bluetooth module to connect with an app on your phone so that you can control it via your Android phone. So, let's see that uh, how it works. The magic is on the angle rollers on each mechanical wheel. These rollers are set at 45 degree angle, so when they spin, they can create motion not just straight, but also sideways. Unlike the normal wheels, that only roll forward and backward, so when they spin, they create motion not just straight, but also sideways, 
by adjusting the speed and direction of each power wheel. You can combine the forces to move the car in almost any direction. It can strafe sideways like a grab, spin in place like a fidget spinner, or slide down a sleeve like it's ice skating. In this project, I programmed it to move in 10 different directions, only by changing the direction of the motor. It looked complicated at first, but once you figured it out, it was crazy satisfying, trust me. And the last one is a classic, the obstacle avoiding car. If you're just starting with Arduino, this should be your first product. Symbol is low cut, but teaches you how sensors and motors work together. The parts I use for this project are the same as my first project. So let's see how it works. The outer city sensor checks if there's anything in front of the car. If it see if it see an object within a certain range, for example, 15 cm from the obstacle to the car, and then it will rotate left or right using the servo magic sensor to scan where the open space is and turns toward it. Simple, right? This was actually the first robot I ever made. I didn't know much about code, just follow a few tutorials and show how it's got it working. So those were my top 3 Arduino robot cars for beginners. Each of them has its own charm, the life falling car teaches logic and the medium car teaches advanced motion and the obstacle avoiding car teaches basic automation and decision making. If you are starting now, I highly recommend trying the obstacle avoiding car first because it's cheap simple, easy to make, and super fun to watch it operating for the first time. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most, or if you ever built any of these before. I'll leave the links to the full tutorials and post down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.